transmission. I didn't want you to tell me not to go or to come back. I mean, I have to figure out what's happening in the mines. We've lost too many men, but already things have turned out to be far stranger and more extraordinary. I took some of the miners and, and we went down. Well, we found this old submarine. We're not quite sure what the implications are yet, but we came out on the other side. I mean, there's a whole other world in here, like a hollow moon. Aurora, the moon has been hollow all this time, but... Look, please don't come after me, okay? We'll be back as soon as... Exterminate external threat. Wait, who are you? Wh what are you? Exterminate external threat. There's something I've been meaning to tell you, and it's been on my mind for quite some time. I can't stop thinking about you. You're the first person I think of in the morning and the last before I go to sleep. So I guess what I really want to know is, do you think we can make it work? Well, that's how it would go. I mean, if I were to ever say anything. But I... Incoming! We got incoming, girls! Well, well, well. It looks like the Jetta ordered a shipment. Somewhere on Mars? What could he be doing out there on Mars? You don't have any idea, do you? Nah, me neither. Bulk your hips down, girls. It looks like we're heading to Mars. So the address is 3275. This is the place. I wonder what the Jetto's doing out here. It's an empty can and a used paintbrush. Try something else. that crazy. It's locked. I think I need a key. It's locked. I think I need a key. Oh, my display stand is in shambles. That's why I'm here, I guess. I don't think so. Not when someone could be looking. I could pick that up. I don't wanna. Hey ladies, what's up? I can't talk to that. Super Colmado Nuevo Puerto Rico. It's in Martian. Some people call it Spanish. 
but no one really knows why. I'm not quite sure how to do that. I don't think that'll fit in my jacket. It's a vintage Regal the Robot torso and head, but I don't play with dolls anymore. It's a vintage Regal the Robot torso and head, but I... It's a thingamajigger. I wonder if it's compatible with my thingamabob. A single wheel rim? Maybe if I had a unicycle. A single wheel rim? Maybe if I had... It looks like a junky old vacuum. It might be useful if I can find an attachment. It's a thing I'm... I wonder if it's compatible. Great. Now I just need to find an attachment. Beware of robot. What a stupid sign. Robots are specifically programmed not to harm humans, or through inaction, allow humans to come to harm. Everybody knows that. What should I plug in? I can't vacuum anything until I find an attachment. Three, two, seven, five. Yep, this is the place. Hey, I'm only eight kilometers from Nuevo Puerto Rico. That's where Aurora used to live before she broke up. Uh, I mean, before I broke up with her. I can't pick that up. How do I use that? I can't talk to that. Ah! It's a snake! Wait, no. It's just a vacuum attachment. Nice. Try something else. I'm not gonna carry that around. Spacey. I don't think so. Hey look, it's a service bell. It must have fallen to the ground. Ugh, it's all clogged up with sand. If I unclog it, maybe I can use it to get the Jetto's attention. Oh man, good idea. Hey, Jetto! Are you here? Come on, man. I'm dying out here in the Martian heat. Maybe I should take off my leather jacket. You should ring it. Hello, Jetto! Are you there? Come on, where's this guy? Hey, Dexter Stardust! Get that hombre! Jumping Jupiters! You almost scared the asteroids out of me! I told you to get that checked out, man! Besides, you jump like a little girl! Maybe Warrior Jungle Girls of Titan 5. Yeah, uh, maybe not. Anyways, did you bring me my cosas? Oh yeah, I got your shipment right here. These are the ones with the little ukuleles, right? Of course, your favorite. La Fuerza is with you. Speaking of La Fuerza, is that what moves you to come out here? La Fuerza smooths us all, Dexter. It is not nice to speak disrespectfully of La Fuerza. Be careful of which side of La Fuerza controls you. And which side of La Fuerza moves you out here? The cheap side? This place is a dump. You know what they say. One man's dump is another man's treasure. What? Yeah, I'm building a cantina out here, man. Finally, you're actually doing it. That's fantastic. But here of all places, I got a good deal. You can say it was unoccupied. You stole it. No, 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 you know, 
After the war, due to the fact that the Martian government was allied with the United Independence that developed a serious economic downfall, which led to occupancy issues, which led to urbanization decline, etc, etc. I got this place for like dirt cheap. I haven't even checked out what's in the cellar yet. Which reminds me, you have to go visit my cousin Carlos. Urbanization? Carlos? What? Yeah, you see, he's got a little bodega on the moon, and he needs a shipment of your dolls. Which moon? The. The what? The moon. Oh, the moon. Got it. Great. I've uploaded the exact coordinates into your ship's computer. So you know which colony to visit. I think they have like mines or something there. Yeah, I know the type. I think Aurora's brother works in one of those. Aurora? What? No, I never talked to her yesterday about you. Huh? All right, Dexter. See ya, buddy. <laughs> That was a weird ending to that conversation. Well, I guess I'm going to the moon. It's a thingamajigger. I wonder if it's compatible with my thingamabob. Hmm, looks like the import-export hangar of one of those off-site mining colonies. Kind of a dump. But the coordinates the Jetto gave me took me here. So I guess I gotta find his cousin, Carlos, and see what kind of girls he's interested in. I mean girls as in dashboard hula girls. You know, the ones I sell. You know what I meant, right? Oh man, it's a rope. Wait, why am I excited? Uh, I'll take it anyways. Looks like a bunch of greasy, good-for-nothing, empty-headed morons. We can hear you, you know. Whoops. Hi, I'm Stardust. Dexter Stardust. Huh? Who are you? You haven't seen me on the commercials? Are you that guy that sells that cheap spaceship insurance? No. Oh, are you that guy with those spicy bail bones? My brother used you guys. Um, no. No, George. This is that guy Joey from that show, Friends in Space. Never mind. Hey, is that one of those T-1000 Biomech legs? Oh, man. That's all people ever see when they look at me. My leg. Uh, I mean, are those Ray-Bans? No. It's okay, man. I understand. It's my leg. You can probably guess what happened. Is it one of those surfing shark things? No, man, it was the war. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot to register. How's that going? It's been over for like 20 years, man. You know, the Alliance won, the United Independence lost. They lost your leg? No, the war, man. What's wrong with you? I fought for the United Independence. We all did. And we lost. Oh, yeah, that's right. Do you know where I can find Carlos? He's supposed to have a bodega. Yeah, I know him. He sells all that useless junk. I'd watch my step around here if I were you, though. Oh, yeah? Why's that? This little moon colony's got some weird stuff going on. I like weird stuff. Yeah? Well, some of the mining equipment has been sabotaged. A few of the workers have been found dead. Some have even disappeared altogether. Vanished in a thin air. Without a trace. Some of the other miners say that something took them. The Alliance has already made plans to send its own private investigator. He hasn't gotten here yet, though. What do you think took the miners? A bojum. A what? I heard that it was a bojum. What's a bojum? It's a... Gabby, now don't you go spreading rumors, you hear? It's true, George. I heard Aurora's brother say so. Not Aurora Mendez. 
Yup, she told me just last week that her brother, the chief foreman, went to search for them. He's the one who saw the Bojam. Gabby, Gabby, you two girls talk too much. There's no such thing. And honestly, I used to work down in those mines. They're just big holes in the ground. The moon is a dead planet. Just a lump of rock. That's not true. There's whispers on the colony that some hidden ocean was recently discovered. Hidden ocean? Come on, Gabby. I've been all around this system and never heard of any hidden anythings. It's true, George. They say it goes into the moon. <laughs> Hollow moon? Sounds like a bunch of hokum to me. Well, it's true. <laughs> wow. What does hokum mean? This all sounds like an adventure. Hey, son, now don't you go acting like an adventurer. That's what got the famous Bayard Alexander Stardust killed. You know, you kind of look like him. In a relation? Um, is that coffee you're drinking? Oh, yeah. If you want some, you can take a package of instant coffee from a lunch pail. It's Martian blend. Thanks. What do you think took the miners? A bow. It's get it's not a he get in the moon. that's hit it's true <laughs> well it <laughs> why what is well I gotta go he said I could take the instant coffee maybe you should pick it up instead of looking at it looks like a bunch of greasy good f we can whoops How you doing? That does not work on me. I'm immune. I wish I was immune. I get sick all the time. Uh-huh. That went well. So, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell from outer space. If I fell from outer space, I would burn up in the atmosphere. Why? Because I'd be hot. Exactly. Ugh, give me a break. So, you know Aurora Mendez? Yeah, I know her. We're real good friends. How good? Like, I know who you are good. Really? What did she say about me? Stuff. It's a secret. Typical. Well, I gotta go. Don't trip over your ego. Hey, look. There's something in here. It's an Astro Man comic book. I used to love these when I was a kid. A box marked X. Or an Xbox? I think these are thorium canisters. Probably the only exportable thing from the moon. It says, this box contains useful objects that you can't pick up in the game. But if you could, they would make it a whole lot easier. Now that's just mean. A whole box of official Dexter Stardust Adventures in Outer Space, not of the Hollow Moon toy spaceships! Neato! Now that's one fine looking box cutter. Hey, don't touch that. You know, I could have just taken it and run. I don't think so. You wouldn't want to lose a hand. Look at George out there. Tried to take my boots once. Now look at him. He says he lost his leg in the war. Yeah, that's when he tried to take my boots. What's a space, Ace? The name's Howard. As in, get Howard my face. Okay, weirdo. Can I borrow your box cutter? Only if you do something for me first. Okay. I could really use a hot cup of coffee. All right. Um, where do I pick one up? Is there a space box around here? Huh. Not out here. You'll have to figure something out. It's one of those space telephones. You can call anywhere in the solar system from those. That is, if all the asteroid buoy towers are operational, which they rarely ever are. Who am I going to call? 
Uh, I guess nobody. Who am I gonna call? Uh, I guess nobody. What a tall jerk type looking guy. What do I have to do to go down the escalator? You have to have your ID as an official moon resident. Or, as you look more like a merchant, you must present your AOP merchant card. Um, I think I left my merchant card in my ship. <laughs> then you better go get it. Hey, New France called. They want the beret and mustache back. Hey oh I am from New France. Why would I give them back? Because it's a joke. Like you have it and they um never mind. So you're the doorman. You're not very intimidating. And you are? Dexter Stardust, the protagonist of the story. Do you think that cheap gaggles and a leather jacket make you a rosy protagonist? Not only those things, I have other abilities. Like, for example, I'm a really good swimmer. <laughs> Very useful in a game about space. I can also toss things underhand with relative accuracy. Mm -hmm. And I've been known to fall from very high up without any damage to my body or my, um, my, um, uh... Brain? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Do you accept bribes? I don't think you have anything that would interest me. I have very particular interests. But you can try. I am here all day. I'll be back. Hey, is this a new Pac-Man? Oh, it's a map of the moon calling. I think they're free. Perhaps you should take one. And now finally some good news. The coalition is extending an olive branch to the former members of the United Independents who were injured in the war. Although all robotics have been outlawed, the coalition has approved the use of robotic prosthetics for those who have lost limbs. Many of those who have already received their prosthetics have described them as being even better than their original limbs. What a blessing this is from our founders of peace, the coalition of planets. In other news, It's unplugged. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. Ten minutes in and there are already two plug puzzles. Nice. Looks like a vintage idomatic vending machine. My father told me about these. They're placed periodically throughout point and click adventure games and give players the exact object they need to complete an adventurous puzzle. Now I gotta find 25 cents. It's a trigger location for the Zapper 9000. Anything that passes directly over it or near it in any direction gets a pretty gnarly shock. I think it's supposed to be mixed with water. That goes down into the cargo hold. I can't pick that up. I need to find the remote control opener. I know it's around here somewhere. How you girls doing? Nah, they're perfectly fine right here.
It's a captain's chair. Sometimes loose change gets stuck in the cushion. Looks pretty heavy. I mean, I don't want that. Hey, it's the remote control to my ship's cargo hold. I have to find some batteries though. It's completely dead. Hey, look, a quarter credit. I wonder if there's an arcade around here. It's my sink. No spaceship is fully equipped without one. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Checks, laser guns, oh look, batteries. Adventure awaits. These are the display cases for my famous dashboard hula girls. Oh man, there it is. How long has this thing been down here? Boxes and boxes of dashboard hula girls. It's almost a shame I have to sell them. I give these signs away sometimes along with stickers and t-shirts. You know, it's just good advertisement. Looks pretty heavy. I mean, I don't want that. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Now I have a cup of water. I said a hot cup of coffee. This is cold. Okay, Mr. Picky. Is there a microwave around here? I don't know. It might be one of one of these boxes. I have a hunch you may like this. Our vintage Astro Man comic book. So, will you let me pass now? Although I am very pleased with your initial incentive, I do require one more thing. Seriously? We, you see, I overheard that they are expecting a shipment of memorabilia in the hangar. Uh, the union workers in the hangar are lazy, and the shipment is probably just sitting there collecting dust. I can leave my post, but... If you could grab one of the collector items from that shipment and bring it to me, I'll let you pass. Uh, fine. Great. Now be alarm and lead me to my comic. Oh, 
whole box of official Dexter Stardust Adventures in Outer Space, Night of the Hollow Moon toy spaceships. Neato. I don't think so. Well, I gotta go. Don't you love? Well, Hey, Jetto! How's it going? What are you doing, man? I told you to go to the moon! Aurora's waiting for you. <laughs> I mean, my cousin Carlos needs that shipment. What's this about Aurora? Nothing. It was a slip of the town. You know, Aurora, Carlos, they both end with O. They sound the same, man. Hmm. I don't like the sound of this. think so. It's locked. Good idea. It missed. I gotta find something to prop it up with. Try something else. Um, no. Watch this. Now that's how you heat up a cup of coffee. I got your coffee for you. Thanks. Set it down by my lunch pail. So, can I borrow the box cutter? Sure. Don't forget to bring it back. Sure you don't want to throw in half that sandwich? How would you like a knuckle sandwich? Yeah, I don't think that Howard thing works. A whole box of official Dexter Startup Neato. I got your dumb toy. Oh, my sweet fancy's Peso Berra is the official Dexter Stardust Adventures in Outer Space Mato Spaceship. You know, I am Dexter Stardust, and my real spaceship is only two rooms over. Vraiment? 
Well, I tell them very much. However, I am a man of my words and I will let you do. Allow me to disactivate the door security system. Then you can now scatter off before I change my mind. Wow, these colonies are really something. Whoa, what are you? Exterminate external threat. Ha, not if I blast you first, you big tin can. Uh-oh. After your guys' history together, I can't believe you got the Jettle to convince Dexter to come here. Well, Dexter doesn't actually know that I'm here. He's under a slightly different impression. Oh man, I love to hear what he has to say when he sees you. Wow! Wow, that sounds like him right now. We should probably go see what he's screaming about. Yeah, probably. Deadster? 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 Can you hear me? <laughs> man, I think he's like dead, man. Do you want me to jettison his body into space now, or...? Not yet. Wait, wait. He's opening his eyes. Uh, Aurora? Jetto? No, I'm Carlos, the Jetto's cousin. We look a little like the same, you know? Yeah, I'll say. What happened? Why were you screaming? This thing attacked me. I drew my blaster, but then I blacked out. You guys must have scared it away. It's the Bojum. It's real. It's real, all right. And wait a second. What is she doing here? She's kind of the reason you're here, man. I never really wanted any of those dolls you sell. Pero Carlo, ven acá. We had to say something and eventually. Those hula girls give me like the creeps or something, man. It's like they're looking at you, man. Okay, fine. I'm here. Now what's this all about? It's my brother. He's disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? There's something you need to see. Commander, we've just dispatched a flyer. An Inspector Hummins flyer, I see. I regret we didn't inform you before. Well, I expect there's a good reason. Come in. State your reason, Lieutenant. Well, as you know, there are several colonies on Earth's moon, but one of those colonies harvests thorium in deep mines and then exports it as fuel for the other colonies, most of which stay on the moon for reasons beyond me. Maybe they want to stay close to Earth, even though people haven't lived there for centuries. I think that... I don't want your opinion on socio-historical matters. Get to the point. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. What I'm trying to say is, we seem to have located the missing faction. What? How is that even possible? I was leading into that. Well, there have been some missing miners and reports of something called a Bojum. You dispatched a flyer due to a few casualties and delusions? amongst a group of insignificant miners on a low-tier planetoid? I hope you have a better reason than that to think you have located the one group that has eluded us for so long. I do, sir. There are certain interesting details. You see, the miners aren't dying at all. They are truly and undeniably missing. And as for this Bojum, well, our informant has interviewed several people who have described it as a robot. A robot? Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. I see. Only the faction could possibly possess that kind of technology after the war. They must be truly desperate to risk revealing themselves like this. Well done, Lieutenant. Hopefully Investigator Hummond can ascertain the origin of this robot. If it is in fact the faction, I want the fleet ready to finish them off once and for all. I will ready the fleet, sir. But there is one more thing. I'm listening. It may just be a coincidence, but I'm not sure how relevant it is. I mean, our informant may be making things up, 
but... Out with it, Lieutenant. Well, Dexter Stardust is also reported to be at the location, according to our informant anyways. Bayard's son? I didn't think he took up the mantle after his father died. He didn't, sir. Not as far as we know. He's just been selling trinkets. Strange plastic women with swaying hips holding small guitars. It's quite absurd, but it has him occupied. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. No, Lieutenant. You've done well. Hmm. The faction and the Stardust family are intertwined. We were fools to think Bayard's son would preoccupy himself forever. Dexter Stardust. I've got my eye on you. Thank <laughs> you.